Hello Vidial, we are here with the semi-finals match of Vidial S versus the Bristol Bolairs, coached by Tippy. Alright, just to start off, I am going to show just some predicted sets. Just gonna... uh, we're using Flying Threat or Will or Wisp, that's going to be really annoying, I imagine. Uh, Torrent or Tat, and that could honestly be any move. Levitate or Neutralizing Gas. Primarina, just something along these lines. Now, this is usually the most terrifying one in this team for me. Close Combat Brave Bird Utah, and just those three moves alone shreds my team. Like, pretty much my way of, like, after loads of thinking, my best counter to it is just make some good reads. <laughs> If I don't want to see this thing on lead, like I, I don't mind it in the back, but on lead for what I've got planned is pretty annoying. Uh, Crocodile Intimidate, if it doesn't go Intimidate, if it goes Moxie over Intimidate, I'll be very happy. Intimidate's a pain. Just something like this. He's run the set in the past. He generally seems to prefer Earthquake over um, High Horsepower, so. Also, Rock Tomb over Rock Slide, because something goes for pretty interesting. Sableye, Fake Outwash, Rain Dance, because nice song. Ice Punch, but little does he know, I only have like half a sun load, and I didn't even bring Guard Jump, so yeah. Gengar, just something like this. Energy Ball hits Suicune, because like, otherwise he just does nothing to hit it. Uh, Cryogonal, just something along those lines. I can rock, Shreds, Charizard, beats, um, Garchomp if it gets a play rough. Doesn't really do much else. I mean, it's technically main act trick, it just, could just run something along these lines. T Bolt, Flamethrower, which can take, either he can take advantage of my son with the Flamethrower, or he can just get rid of it, bring him. Uh, I doubt I'll see Magma or Warrain, he hasn't brought either of them as of yet. Although these are kind of the offsets I'd expect to see if he did bring them. Anyway, Let's not bore you, let's just get into it now. Good luck, have fun, TP. Let's see how this goes. What's he bro? Those Aptos would be amazing. Yep, let those Primarina. That's more or less what I expected, that's fine. He's probably pretty surprised not to see Garchomp or Charizard, but I've got something else in mind. Uh, we go Mr. Rhyme. We go more Law. I haven't used more while yet, he's probably not prepared for it. But I'm pretty oh god, but he yeah, Mowile one shots every Pokemon he brought. <laughs> well Primarina it's a damn draw, but I can just double into Prim for the kill. Most annoying thing here is Sableye Will Wisp. If he leaves Sableye, I want to protect Mowile or Taunt Sableye. Cause I can't fake it out, which is a pain. Um Snorlax in the back, with that potential belly drum sweep, and uh, Nine Tails will take a Um, I feel like potentially Togemaru this game. Tomorrow. Yeah, okay. We leave Shifty Nine Tails behind. Gotta grab my notes. I have every single set that he has brought to the last four games written down here. Alright. No wheezing, it kind of surprises me. But... Other than that, oh, that's the one lead I didn't want to say. That's the singular lead. Now, here's how this is going to go. U-turn does not knock out Mr. Rhyme. None of that those attacks knock out Mr. Rhyme, unless he's like choice man. Uh, 
Will the Wisp is a big risk here. However, I kind of have to go for it. What slot are you entirely sure? Removing Zapdos could be huge. I mean, after say, like, or say, like, oh god, okay. What's he going for? Shadow Claw. Does put me in range of an attack from his Zapdos. I'm not running Protect. I think here we go into Token of Maru. And I think the best place to play rough Sableye. Sableye's not switching. Zapdos could switch. And I just want Sableye gone. Scarf Token of Maru can deal with Zapdos. I need Trick Room up. I can't let him knock out Mr. Run. I mean, once I've got Trick Room, that's fine. Yeah, there we go. Dew turn, yeah, that's fine. Break my starter. Question is, what's he going to? He's clearly done his calcs. He knew that a Dew turn wouldn't just kill off the back. He's well prepared. Okay. Yep, there we go, we get the knockout to Sableye. Yes. Okay, so we know the Sableye is fake out. On call. And we know the Zapdos. It is U turn protect. That's. What he's that's all he's revealed so far, I believe. And we've revealed play off and fake out, that's literally it. Okay, he goes back into the Zapdos, that's fine, I think. Now, what do we do? We could Zing Zap, we could Iron Head. What do we want to knock out into me? I think Iron Head could be sensible. I feel like if he's he's more likely to switch out like a rock into something like um Yeah, we just go for an Iron Head. I'm happy just to keep on attacking. This could be I feel like I'm missing something. Zapdos detects, that's completely fine. I'm guessing he predicted fake out into Zapdos. We go for an Iron Head. That is Focus Sash, okay. Good to know. Okay. That flinch actually does not matter. Because he gets steadfast, he moves fast this time regardless. Okay, we know it's Sash. Good to know. Um, I feel like it definitely gets a ground move. I can't risk switching into Snorlax. Because it Zapdos could just, I could just go for the same play. Just keep that offensive pressure up. Yeah, I, I almost doubled like a rock in case Zapdos took out on the Myri first. But yeah, this is fine because you not like feel free to take Token and Maru, like that's a very good trade in there. Can we reveal that we aren't land ups? Probably think we're land Don't miss. There we go. Clean one shot.
And he fake out it this time. He protects it this time. And he can't switch out because he's only got two months left. Mullal absolute god tier Pokemon. <laughs> Mullal the legend. Like, I knew it had a good matchup. But holy shit. <laughs> two kills already. I was going to go 8 0 on the kill leaderboard. <laughs> it's my first game bringing it, so. Uh, is this Intimidate? If it's Intimidate, it's a little problematic for them a while. It's Moxie, that's brilliant, because we do just one shot it. I think we gotta... I don't care about Mr. Run, I just gotta preserve more well. I don't want it getting knocked out by like... by a ground move or something. Yeah, he goes for the double. That's fair enough, I think that's just the best play in that position. Earthquake, okay. That... Doesn't knock me down pretty low. I mean, there's, there's not, I don't click for it. Okay. Belly Drum's always the play. Like, even though it's a 3v1, I think Belly Drum is always the best play. Because then, because he earthquakes, yeah, Bell belly drum guarantees the one. Because if he earthquakes, yeah, he knocks out Mr. Run, but then we have two Pokemon on the field, both of which look one shot him. And he can't knock out both, because earthquake doesn't do enough damage. That's a little scary, I won't lie. Uh, <sighs> okay. Yeah, we, we died to an earthquake. We've lost, right? Mobile doesn't take. My god, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I believe, come on. Role play rough was the play. More lived an earthquake. I mean, I'm such an idiot. I I'm throwing things. After such, after such an incredible beginning, we threw the same thing. Yes, we threw. And the crit on Snorlax, I don't think it mattered. It might have. I completely forgot about Moxie, to be honest. Yeah, I forgot about Moxie, because if, had, had he not got that boost, had he not got that attack boost, I always win. But I completely forgot that Moxie was the thing. 
because I was I was so scared I was scared of them really. I, I just didn't care about Moxie. But yeah, that situation Moxie was definitely clutch. Oh, I'm just gonna take a moment to think about adaptations. I mean, Moa was very strong. No one's denying that. If Sable I had Willow Wisp, I think it would have used it. However, it was kind of. I mean, I kind of understand why it was doing what it was doing. It could have Willow Wisp anyway. Right, we ought to take back two games. We're not in t mm. We're down, but we're not out. You can remember that. And that was pretty promising. That was quite promising. I just have to make sure I don't do something like that again. Don't let Moxie Crocodile get out of hand. Ideally, I do need to set up Trick Room sooner rather than later. If I, if I had Trick Room early on, I think. Yeah, if I had Trick Room early on, like if I, I could have Trick Room Town 1, I think. Yeah, I actually could have Trick Room Town 1. I might try to get it this time. Unless I think Shift really good on adaptation. I don't know, to be honest. I shouldn't have switched Nolag Zen, I should have just roleplay rough. I think that would have been better. I mean, had he not been Moxie, that what I did was the best play, but he was Moxie, so yeah. I mean, I knew he was Moxie, so I shouldn't have made that play, but. God, I'm turning into the new Goomy, the next Goomy, throwing me every game. Come on, what's that? I mean, Jeffrey, I mean. Jeffrey does beat Croak, Jeffrey does beat. Uh, does beat a lot of things, Just not Zabdos, and Zabdos is terrifying. I want Zabdos also. <laughs> I want to be the same. I should. I think. I just have to. I think the same's fine. I think that's fine. I was happy with this move, to be honest. I'm. Smolax in the back. Token Amato is so good. I think I just go with the same. I don't. I don't have much reason to. I think that's fine. I mean, the reason I lost was because I, yeah, I've repeated it multiple times, I didn't need to go through it again. Um, he goes with Sailor Douglas, fair enough. We could call out as after protect, we could do that. We could just try to roll quickly. And if you want to win, you got to play rescue. Yeah, Show me that return. Let's go. Interesting play. That was a critical hit. So yeah, if he's Shadow Claw Clawing more well, that definitely tells me that he doesn't have um, Lilith. Yeah, we call him out on the, the top. I mean, Zapdos is now in danger. <laughs> Both of my mains can one shot it. I believe Psychic is a guaranteed okay. Oh, come on. Alright. Um.
that can make them look really good. I'm psychic blue color, and I'll just iron head and make them look. I will take it down to search. Next time I can pick up the kill. It doesn't, it doesn't get high. I don't think it gets high horsepower. If it gets ground, it'll be like stunning tantrum. You could just go for the walk and try to get a kill onto Mr. Ryan. I don't mind Mr. Ryan going down here. Zapdos may switch, but I don't care too much. Yeah, we get the Iron Head. Take him down to Sash. And. We just don't have all conversion on Zapdos. Okay. He is pretty bulky. And that didn't do... Yeah, that's bulky. I think he's taken some off attack and into defense. Just goes to the rocks well. More misses, that's fine. Miss Durant goes down. Completely okay. We go into Snorlax. We don't set up Belladrum here because we want we just want to keep up the offensive pressure. Play rough one shots because it's not intimidating. So we we just bought we just body slam a like not kill. We play rough the crocodile. I think that's we play rough canvas, but I think it was the best play here. Protect like rock, play rough miss earthquake would be bad. But we just gotta hope that doesn't happen. I think this is the best play in this position. Okay. I mean that's fine. I should have just set up Aladron. How long are the trick rooms left? I think that miss was pretty big actually. Yeah, that was a big miss. Just go for the accurate move. Um, Earthquake will knock up more off in this range. Okay, that's fine. We only need to get one knock out this time. He should just Crocodile Protect, but regardless, we will get the knock out once the lives at us. The play rough miss would have guaranteed us the win. I mean, if the play rough had hit, it would have been a guaranteed win. However, fortunately, that's not how it went. We always just play rough. He probably protects, but. Okay. I think that does double protect, was definitely the optimal play. I think he doesn't protect the crocodile anyway. I'm thinking it's probably choice. Based on the fact that you just clicked off like last night. Okay, awesome. Now here come the mind games because he made a play. He made a play game one. I called it out game two. What does he do game three? Does he switch up his lead? You see, that boost is terrifying, however, in the past couple games I've kind of wrecked it. might not even bring it, which would be great for me. I just got into very good positions to knock it out, like it's still terrifying for me regardless. Oh wait, 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 wait. Alright, we've got 10 minutes to finish this game. Otherwise, bad stuff could happen. Okay. 
Mr. Rhyme Morlow Snorlax. What beat Mr. Rhyme Morlow that he could leave? I don't know to be honest. We just go with the same. And give me a second, I will be right back. Alright, we are back. Uh, oh, my control is gone. Okay. Please connect faster. Come on, I believe. Yes! No will it was. I don't care about I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Shadow Claw, fine. We get the knockout. Alright. Mobile? Absolute God. And Mobile has not taken any damage. We aren't in Earthquake range. So that is very cool. I did not press that. Okay. This is tough regardless though. I think we do protect more. Oh, shoot. Well played. Thank you. Don't, this doesn't kill, right? Right, come on. Don't kill. Yes! Thank you. Oh Jesus, what my CPU is at insane levels right now. That is, n my fan is going a bit. Now we taunt Sableye. I don't think it has Quash. Even if it does, he can't. This, this is fine, it's fine. Those of course, we do take an earthquake though, and that's his choice band. Hit the attack. That tone was kind of pointless. Hit the attack. <laughs> No! Uh... Alright, we have another shot to hit the play rough. Go Zapdos. Alright, goes to Zapdos. That's not good. We have to stall out our own frick room. That's un oh, that could be huge. Okay, thunderous kick. Defense drop, but we get the citrus berry and cover.
We lost Stardy on Token Mall. I'm just... Holy... Okay. If that killed, I would have been sick. Play rough hit. Please. Please. Please, Moonlight. I believe in you, and you are the best Pokemon. The strongest, most top tier Pokemon. All you have to do, hit the play rock. Thank you, we win! We win! Togodomaru is sturdy. There's nothing he can do. Oh! More wild, best Pokemon. Best Pokemon in the game. Thank you, Mawile. MVP. Oh, what a legend. The thing is, Trick Room runs out. You can kill Snorlax. Like, even if I get... Even if you kill Snorlax, I just bring in Token Mario and win. Because I'm Troyscuff. I outspeed you. Even if you somehow outspeed me, even when you're paralyzed, I have Sturdy. You can't one-shot me. <laughs> I kind of want the differential, though. <laughs> I kind of want the differential. Now I just play it. No more while live it. Live the attack, dodge it. <laughs> oh my god, that was insane. A crit. Oh, he never even gets to see over the model in the back. Uh, we win despite what oh despite that horrendous game one thank you mobile like I knew on paper it was incredible but I didn't think it would actually be that insane it, ex it exceeded my expectations and my expectations were very high I'm gonna stop recording now Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I look forward to facing Rex in the finals. Oh my god. <laughs>